Nine people graduated from the year-long adult probation DWI court at the Travis County Courthouse tonight. They join nearly 350 others who have graduated since 2008. But it could be the last class to receive the recognition since Governor Greg Abbott took away the grant money used to fund the court. It's all in response to Sheriff Sally Hernandez's new jail policy on holding undocumented immigrants. KXAN's Brittany Glass got an inside look at the court and explains why participants want it to stay. Their stories begin the same way. Arrested for driving while intoxicated. I went in jail, was out the next day, didn't feel it, I didn't, it didn't sink in. First one I got, I was 21, didn't care. Second one I got was maybe a couple years later, I didn't care. Going through the traditional legal system just wasn't working. It hadn't done anything to deter my behaviors or the cycle of my substance abuse. All three men say it wasn't until they started adult probation DWI court that their outlook changed. Well, I thought I was a lost cause and, and I, you know, I looked at myself as a bad person for making bad decisions, making mistakes. The DWI court takes a holistic approach to prosecution, combining standard probation with therapy and counseling services to give reoffenders one more chance. Gives me the tools to be able to deal with the problems that I've dealt with in the past instead of running to alcohol, change my, my uh, frame of thought, change my thought processes, make better decisions. Judge Elizabeth Earle says the treatment is what makes the program successful. You know, get the treatment that you need, then there's no telling what could happen. And new data shows it's working. 88% of participants graduate. Of the people who graduate this program successfully, less than 5% ever reoffend. Earl says it prevents crime and saves money. We're saving ultimately the taxpayers' money because we're not putting them in jail. For those who've experienced both options, it's an easy decision. Don't get rid of this program. It's the best thing that could have ever happened to me. It saved my life. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. It is still unclear if the DWI court can continue. Judge Earl says they will continue to hold it every Tuesday night until there is no funding left. Its fate now is in the hands of county commissioners who have to decide if they need to come up with more than $200,000 to continue it or if they can operate it with less money. Travis County accounts for about 10% of all statewide DWI arrests. It ranks in the top three of all of the counties in the state. Harris is number one, followed by Bayer County.